You are looking at the mayor of a town in California, a golden retriever. Max is the mayor of Idlewild, an unincorporated community with no formal local government where only pets are allowed to be on the ballot. Max is the third in his family to hold the position. Mayor Max and his chief of staff, Phyllis Mueller, have joined us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have my husband here with us as well because uh, Mayor Max is like having a stallion on the couch. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Well, this doesn't sound like democracy. It sounds like a monarchy. What's going on there in California? You know, uh, in the third voted election, we had been such a good mayor's office for a while that they just said mayor for life. And I said, so as long as I want to do it, okay. And I've wanted to do it. And so we're now on Mayor Max the third. The other two went to heaven. Uh, at, you know, different years. And uh, this, he's now one year old and he's the third mayor. He's doing a great job. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to go with this. So um, tell me wh how this works, sort of, <laughs> what, what the reaction is from people. Yeah. What? Well, and mainly because he's nonpartisan, nonpolitical. Oh, people yeah. love him. And uh, the, we love everyone unconditionally, and that's kind of our main message. And how it works is that we do the things that dogs can do, but they can do a lot. So, for example, if they go to an event and it's a, a fundraiser, more people come to the event, it raises more money. Uh, they come out in the public every day. We visit hospitals, schools, nursing homes. Even Mayor Max II, was, uh, when he was an older dog, could lie on a hospital bed with a hospice patient and create comfort and joy, even in that terrible situation. And so. We just do kind and loving things for people, but we do a lot of it. And yeah. so, it's, uh, but it's a lot of fun and people enjoy it. Because if I said, hey, I'm the mayor of Idlewild, come and see me at two o'clock every day, probably no one would come. But when you say it's it's a golden retriever, people just flock to it. You sure, know? And sure. And uh, <laughs> you do some work with Animal Rescue. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, so it was Animal Rescue that sponsored the first election. We support all the animal rescues in the region. We are also a rescue team ourselves. And so uh, we do a lot of fundraising for Animal Rescue. We actually go out and do the rescues as well. We've done three successful, very successful rescues in the last eight days. It all had happy endings. And so, so there's a huge need for animal rescue everywhere, but especially in a remote area. You know, people bring their dog to town, it gets out and the dog gets lost. And we have a huge success rate on recovering the animals. Yeah, not a lot of towns would do something like this. Um, so tell me what's special about sort of where you're from and what you can tell people about it. So, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, moved to Idlewild about 12 or 13 years ago. We're on our 12th year now of doing this. and. I think that, you know, when they came up with the idea, it was just going to be sort of fun. But I saw it as an opportunity to really be uh, a mayor's office, which is an honor. And I wanted to take it seriously and turn it into a real mayor's office. And we, yeah. because yeah. we do the work of a real mayor's office, um, we are highly regarded, even by the county where our politicians are located. And they uh, had us participate in their television COVID commercials to encourage people to wear their masks. They've done tourism Got commercials it. with good. us. And, well, good luck well, thanks, to you. Yeah. All right. And, and for more, you can check out MayorMax.com. You can also follow him on social media. So thank you for joining us today. Let's say hello thanks. once again to Paul.